everybody. Andrea here with Dental L. Let's talk about how to go through your practice profile, just get it done to get it submitted before the holidays. You don't want to forget to do that. So whether you are filling out your um, portfolio because you have been audited or taking the quality assurance exam, you also need to do your practice profile. This is basically telling them, telling the CDHO what you do in your practice and that you understand what needs to be done. So I'm going to show you guys my practice profile for 2021, like just to give you guys an idea or maybe 2020 because I didn't need to do one this year. So let me just share my screen for a second. Let me actually change it up. Let me do it for 2020. Um, and see if it's still in there. Cause that's the year I was audited 2020. I seem to be audited like clockwork every four or five years. Um, typically a hygienist is audited every six years at random they say, but you know, it, yeah, it depends. Okay. So, but I seem to be audited more often, whatever. So yeah, so I did fill out my practice profile for 2020. So this is what it is, you guys. So you just have to log in, make sure to um, click on the current year so you fill out the right practice profile. Let's say you were audited this year and you fill out the practice profile for 2019, you're going to have to do it again. It has to be for the current year. Does that make sense? So all you have to do is make sure to click on the current year. So it would be 2021. So you know what? I'm just going to show you guys that because I don't want to confuse anybody. So click on 2021 here and then click on practice profile down there under optional. Mine says optional because I do not need to fill it out because I haven't been audited. You will have to. If you need help, I do offer a full practice profile review. So when you send it to me, I go through everything to make sure you have the right things filled out and you have the right things that make sense for your practice. But I can talk more about that towards the end. This is what your practice profile looks like. So you just have to check off certain boxes, read through all of them carefully. Don't just say always, 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 because you won't be doing always for everything. So fill them out properly. Feel free to look, um, browse through my YouTube channel, type in the search bar, um, practice profile information, practice profile review. I do actually go step-by-step step through most of them. If you sign up for the online portfolio workshop and the quality, sorry, and or the quality assurance study course, I do go through every single question with um, with you. So that's a members only thing. But even in the free YouTube videos that I do have, I go through them in general, which is what I'm doing now anyway. So in general, read them carefully. Let me just give you guys a couple little tips here. So for oral cancer screening, you don't always have to use a light or a dye or a brush biopsy. So if you did say always to all of these, the CDHO would call you so fast and they would say, um, we can tell you're clicking always because nobody does all of those. But what you should be doing always is A and B, visual and palpation. I've had many hygienists submit their practice profiles to me and they will just do the visual. They do not check off palpation. The CDHO is going to call you because we should be doing vis um, visual and palpating every single visit. I don't suggest you lie about it, but in your other section, I would say not currently palpating, but I understand the importance. I'm going to start doing that now. That would be fine too. So I, I've kind of helped hygienists go through that depending on how they answer the other questions. Indices, you might not be doing them always, be honest, but I'm going to move down here. So for example, here are some check marks, some boxes. Um, read through them carefully. This is a common mistake I see as well is number two is just getting a verbal um, prescription from the dentist. It needs to be written in the chart as well, either by you and then the dentist signs it or they have to write in the chart why they are prescribing radiographs. I go through every question inside the courses. So definitely have a look if this is something you are having trouble with, okay? But in this video, just read the questions carefully, okay? So I'm going to skip down to the long answer questions, the long answer ones. These are the tricky ones for most people. 
25, 26, and 27. So 25, be specific. You need to say the type of disinfectant you use to clean out the water lines. You need to say if you use a shock solution, you need to say if you do culture testing and the exact type of product, how often, when you do it, why you do it, all of that, like 20 seconds, 30 seconds, five minutes, you need to put that in there. I see a lot of hygienists submit their practice profile to me and they forget that. So I'm going to write you a full report and tell you to change that. If you do not change it, you will get a phone call and or an on-site visit. So that's why I'm here to help, to make it less stressful for you. 26, same thing. This is specifically hand pieces and kind of how you do sterilize instruments in point form. So you need to say what you do to those hand pieces, how you clean them, how you maintain them, how you package them, because a lot of offices are not doing it properly. So that's why they had added it in here. For example, if you're not packaging the hand pieces, you're just throwing them in the sterilizer, you're going to be in trouble. So be specific. Make sure to mention if you take apart the handpiece, as you should be, if you are sterilizing the motor as well. Be specific. 27. This answer you can actually find in our Milestones magazine. Just like copy and paste this whole thing and you will find this on the CDHO website. They list point form perfectly or feel free to put it into your own words, but this is in our Milestones magazine. More kind of like clicking type of questions. They do not like us to use the cold soak anymore. I'm not saying to lie, but if you say, for example, you do it daily, they're going to call you and tell you, just so you know, the cold soak is, is very old school. We never want you to use it again. So I help you guys with these things. I'm going to help you pinpoint what you really should change or you're going to get a phone call and then I'm going to tell you what you did right. I might ask you a couple um, questions to clarify, but that's what I'm here for. Some more kind of check boxes, some short answer questions here, but as you guys can see, they're very specific and to the point, but get started. It might take you a couple hours to do, especially like going through the short answer. Make sure to save your work, okay? So you don't have to fill it out all at once, but save it so you can come back to it. When you're sending me your practice profile for the review, what you need to do is click save and continue working. Always make sure to save it, but then move up here to print. So click print, but you're not going to print it. So change what you want to do in the top field here, change it to save as PDF. Then you would save it and this is how you send it to me. I do have a full video on how to save your practice profile and send it to me. I can leave the link for that actually down below if you just want to read that. But of course, feel free to ask me any questions. So that's your practice profile. It's very easy, but you do have to be specific. So you have to kind of take the time to go through your office or if you're a mobile dental hygienist like me, go through your closet and check to see exactly the disinfectants you are using. They want the name, they want the company, they want the expiry date. Yes, they want all those crazy things. You need to go and check the disinfectants. Check whatever you are using when it comes to infection control, they want to know. So that might take you time to kind of go through all of that because it's probably not all in the same place. So you literally have to go through the office. So take your time over a couple of days, maybe an hour every day to get your practice profile done. Feel free to send it to me if you want me to look it over for you. So it does take me time. I go through your entire practice profile and then I'm going to email you back um, a full report on what I feel needs to change. I'm going to highlight in red what I feel has to be changed for you not to get yelled at by the CDHO, but it's up to you what you want to do. I'm just simply here to offer you suggestions. And I might even say things look fantastic, 
but 99% of the time, I do notice some critical errors that I'm happy to avoid for you. So definitely let me know if you need me to review your practice profile before you submit. So I will leave the link for everything for you guys down below. Please click like on this video if you had liked it. That does help my channel. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. And I look forward to looking at your practice profiles. I will talk to you very, very soon.